Hello and welcome to an awesome race in the Venom F5. I need a challenge. That's not it. Let's try that again. That's not it. One more time. That's a challenge. 50 kilometers? That's not easy, especially when you can't do this race endlessly. So I'm going to have to utilize clock management technique, making the maximum use of my clock. This is a big part of it. The first lap of a race, usually the bots are super slow, a lot of people pass way too many, and you're wasting stuff. So what am I doing here? I'm gonna stretch out the clock as much as possible. I wanna be out of time when I catch the first bot. So this is a bit of a trial and error thing to sort that out. And now look how much distance I logged already before I even start the race, 0.6 kilometers. By the way, there's the specs of this monster. I'll go over 500 kilometers an hour. Now I was gonna break and I thought, eh, I better not, I think I'm running low. So I decided to kind of blast through that. Now I've got to really control my braking points, really control my acceleration points. I want to drive nice and clean, a little bit of slippage there. My clock is running out, there's no bots in sight. And this gets, this gets actually ridiculous, guys. Okay, look at this. I have no time. And I'm gonna go, what, a couple of kilometers this way, just coasting. You'll see, this is gonna work out. I'm not wasting your time. This is strategy. This is me maximizing the clock, okay? So right as I get to the first chicane with the mole sound straight, there we go. Hello, bots. This is gonna keep me in trouble for the whole first lap, but that's what I want. So I don't wanna ever be overfilling my clock. So what's okay? What are the basics of clock management technique? Well, you know how sometimes in an endurance race your timer's turning yellow? You never want that to happen if you're trying to go for maximum distance with clock management technique. You don't want to do what I just did there too, which was I was going off track a bit, trying to avoid that bot and maximize my speed. Well, sometimes you suffer a little bit. So at Le Mans, we get 68 seconds per lap. So that means I do not want to have more than 22 seconds on my clock when I cross the start finish line. Now that doesn't mean you hammer on the brakes if you have too much. It just means be aware of that a ways before the start finish line and stop passing bots. So again, that takes some experience, some trial and error. By the way, the braking points for this car, it, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, not as ridiculous as the Bugatti Bolide. I've moved my braking points up a little bit, but still, it's like, really? It, it's so ridiculous in this car. Uh, this car has got lower specs than the Bolide. And so anyway, you can get faster lap times than the Bolide. You can do this race endlessly in the Bugatti Bolide. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. Uh, for some reason, the Venom F5, uh, I never even got close, never saw the train. It's just too loose, it's too skittish. Um, all the specs are lower on this car. You know, I didn't check. I think the top speed might be higher in this car as far as the listed top speed, but you go faster lap times in the Bolide, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, speed's not about straight lines, right? Unless you're drag racing, but that's not what we do here. Well, I guess we do, but not for the most part, we don't. Okay, see this? I'm not passing him. Okay, that's because I would have gone over 22 seconds if I did. So, yeah, I'm already having the ticket a little bit easy. And drafting in this race, that makes it a little more fun. Now, notice I'm not cutting, right? Because my timer was over 80. I will not pass a bot if my timer is over 80. So I'm just gonna be careful here. Now, it's gonna take me a while to catch this next guy, but I'll catch him pretty fast in the Mulsanne straight. And check it out, watch this speedo. Watch the speedometer, because I will be hitting, I should go just over 500. I'm taking the long way. You see, I went to the far left, because uh, I know I'm gonna be, at a certain point, I'm gonna have to be really slowing down. Well, that time I hit 500 kilometers an hour, but I didn't go over. Don't want to drive this in too deep. As you can see, I'm already pushing the limits. None of that was off track. You know, take a careful notice of that. It could really benefit you in time trials if you don't know about that. Same with even cup races. This is where your overtaking zones are. Bots will never drive where I just was. Now, at the second Mulsanne chicane, uh, you don't can't take advantage of it as much. But right there even, that's a great overtaking spot where I was. Not considered off track, but the bots won't drive there. So sort of off track, but not off track because you can do it, do it during a time trial. Same with this. Watch how far I go to the left here. None of that's off track. You can do all that during a time trial. So this is where in a time trial, you're probably losing a bunch if you don't know that. 
Like, I remember at one point in this game, there was a time trial competition here, a weekly time trial competition. I was nine seconds back from the leader. And that's when I thought every single person in group A, B, and C were obviously cheaters and hackers. Well, they're not. Uh, definitely there are, don't get me wrong, but it's not the majority like I used to think. The, the, the real fact is I just wasn't good. <laughs> and then I buckled down and I, I got better at the game. Now you can see I was already taking some cuts. That's because I'm in trouble. My timer's already really low. So in the initial phases of clock management, only cut when you have to. And this is still dangerously low. I'm getting worried here. 13 seconds, like there's a bot, I'm definitely gonna be slam. You know what, I might not slam through this totally. Let's see how fast I can catch him. Mm, there's another guy here, I really don't wanna wreck. Little bit of slice and dice, oh no, that'll be fine. Okay, 17, that's great, that's great. I'm crossing, that's gonna take me close to a full clock, which is 90, right? Well, 89.999, I don't think, yeah, you. I don't think we ever really see 90. Woo, woo, woo. Oh. Well, that was unfortunate. I was slamming on the brakes because I didn't want to pass him. You don't want to save time so much that you're being stupid. And that was a little bit stupid. I, I smacked the wall. I didn't get damaged, thankfully. Okay, that was a better drive out. Let's see if I can get a little over 500 this time. Like now you can see though, I'm taking the straighter path. I'm more concerned about setting my time than I am my speed. Oh yeah, I went a little over 500 that time. It doesn't mean that that path was better. It just means, oh boy, gotta be careful here. It just means that I had a little bit, uh, my entrance to the Mulsanne straight was better. I, I'm a little nervous in this car when it comes to certain corners because if this car, if you take a corner too fast in this car, you are going for a long slide and it's going to be a bad one. So you gotta be careful with this car. Okay, that wasn't bad. 54 seconds on the clock, a little bit nerve wracking. You can see, like I said, this isn't easy, but you suffer a little bit and then you get to a point where it's not too bad when you spread this out as much as I did. And then you suffer some more, okay. This is really nerve wracking. I've gotta make another lap to hit 50 kilometers. Um, I believe, I haven't checked for a bit, I'm pretty sure with 13.63 kilometers per lap. So you extrapolate that out, three laps, even with my bonus amount, I'm only in the 40s. I'm not in the 50s till I hit lap four. So this, is, this isn't this is easy guys, but it's kind of fun. The earnings aren't great, like it's the same as the Bugatti Bolide. This is nowhere near the pay of the McLaren MP4X, but you know what? We play this game also for fun. Farming is a necessity at a certain point, but don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to go and run some races and just have a good time. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a little bit sketch here. Yeah, I'm gonna blow off track where I usually don't, get an overtake and keep it going. Ah, oh, nuts, and then I overshoot this. That's okay, I can keep it going, running really low. Three seconds, two, one, ah, oh, running out of time again. And this thing coasts. It really coasts. That's just what I needed. Oh, that was nerve wracking right there. I thought I was gonna clip the wall. Okay, I still have 10 kilometers to go to beat Rob. Rob's a really good racer. I notice him like at the top of time trials all the time, top of endurance races. Yo, Rob, you're great. I like following your ghosts. I learn stuff. All right. Now you can see I'm driving pretty aggressively. Ooh, beautiful drive on to Mulsanne. Now, I don't wanna be doing much cutting anymore because I will not see lap five. So now I've gotta make the best use I can of what I've got to play with here. Oh, he's in the wrong spot for me. Oh, he was at the worst possible spot for my entrance into that chicane. And that might be the last bot I see. Well, at any rate, gotta see the final distance. Now, you might have followed this link from the video I was doing where I was explaining why you have to finish in first place. Look, it's another bot. Oh, I went off track a little bit, nuts. You have to finish in first place to get maximum earnings. A lot of people don't realize that. They think that, oh, well, second place, I, I finished second, but you get the same earnings. No, you don't. You lure, you lose earnings. 
you lose our dollars and fame. And then in the uh, motorsports series, actually the losses you can suffer for the M dollar losses in endurance races, it's really big if you're finishing in second and third place. Now the really big thing with this series, our dollar series, is we can hire the crew. If you don't win, you get no benefit from the crew. You have to win. So if you have friends like this and you can't beat them like I've got, go offline. And that's how you deal with that problem. So here you can see I'm gonna keep it on track. So even with me sometimes, I have to put it into offline mode and then reboot the game. Well, I should say reboot. Force close it, that means just crash the game. Like swipe up on iOS and force it to close. And on Android, you can do it a couple of different ways. It's been a long time since I was on Android. Uh, anyhow, here we're running two times regular speed because it takes a long time. Now we're going four times regular speed because I'm coasting, coasting. Almost made it to lap five, guys. Well, there we go. Let's check out the earnings. I didn't hire any of the crew. It's no bonus day. It's just normal. That's an amazing distance. I'm really proud of that one. I haven't seen anything that big here in this car. And friends bonus, always nice to get. Still not bad fame earnings, right? So there we go. Please like and subscribe. Drop me a comment if you want to. I'll try to answer your questions. Thank you so much for joining me today.